Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be talking about accessories. Hair accessories are very important when you're wearing wigs. Yeah, I think it really adds more of a natural look uh, to your wig wearing. You gotta treat it like it's your own hair as far as you know, whether you're doing barrettes or clips or headbands or maybe doing a braid or, or whatever <laughs> hairstyles you like. It just really adds a natural element to your look and it, people won't even know you're wearing a wig. <laughs> it just really, you know, you're just gonna be passing by and they're not gonna pay attention. They're just figuring it's your hair, this, you know, how you're wearing your hair today. <laughs> So today I'm wearing the Blonde Ombre wig from Amazon. She's kind of a platinum color and I think she'll be a fun color for summer. And there's many different ways that you can style your wigs. I, especially for this one, I like to pull her back a little bit with a clip. Just to pull away some of that hair away from my face. But also, to just make it look like you are just wearing, that's the way you're wearing your hair today. <laughs> and headbands come in different colors, styles. I have found a lot of headbands at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, that... Um, you would pay much more for in a regular store. This is um, one made, this is a square headband. This is a paisley one. And then I have a, a black one with a little bling on the side. And I have this light blue one. It's almost a turquoise color. This is a plain one, but it you can have bling on it if you want. They have different prints, colors. Pretty much for any style that you would want to, to try. So, I like the square headbands. They're very well made. They're very sturdy. You don't have to worry about them shifting around. But again, also add some security to your wig. It's not going to go anywhere with this headband on. Gives you a little extra security there. Or if you just wanted to pull one side with a barrette. And when you are doing that, you don't want to be just take a big chunk from the front. Take a little bit from the front. And then maybe a little bit lower. And then again, a little bit lower. That way you're avoiding any wefting as you're pulling it away from the wig showing. So I am grabbing some of the wefts here with the barrette. So it's not gonna go anywhere, nice and secure. I could add one on the other side. Very cute. And summer is always a great time to wear hats. You want a hat to keep the sun off your face. Also a different option. Very cute. Also adds a little security to your wig. You don't have to worry about everything blowing around, especially if it's a windy day, a hat might be a good option. And we gotta have a sun hat, right? <laughs> a beach hat.
This is kind of a floppy hat that I think I got it on Amazon. You you never know what shape you're going to get. It kind of one of those travel hats that you can just crunch up and <laughs> but I love it. It's lightweight and you know there's enough airiness to it that you can get some air coming through. Very cute. Again, it just adds so much to your wig and the way you carry yourself is also important. Just go out there with confidence. Nobody's going to even realize that you're wearing a wig. Then nobody's, it's not on anybody's radar. They're not like looking at you. Oh my God, is she, you know, they're not looking at everybody saying, is she wearing a wig? Is she wearing a wig? It's, um, it's a lot of it is how you carry yourself. And, you know, I think the biggest compliment is when someone compliments you on your hair and, oh my God, you know, you got beautiful hair. So that, uh, to me, that is the best compliment to a wig wearer for people to think that it's just your regular hair and, you know, you have, you're having a great hair day. I also wanted to share with you one of my favorite hair accessories, especially with uh, this hairband wig that I got from Paula Young. It's Sylvie, and she's made by Wig Shop. She comes with um, a plain black headband, but I've been adding variation with these different headbands that I got from Amazon. And they're just, um, it's just a tube of fabric. And you can see you have quite a bit of fabric here, so you could even cut it in half and make two headbands if you don't want this much bulk. But certainly you can scrunch it up if you want it to be a thinner headband. There are no, the edges are not sewn, it's just the fabric, the edge of the fabric, but it's not, it's kind of like a polyester nylon, so it's not going to unravel on you. And you can, uh, just when you're adjusting it, you can just tuck in those edges. Also comes, they come in a six pack and they all come wrapped up nicely in these um, plastic wrappers. So if you wanted to give some to your friends or uh, co-workers, whatever, <laughs> if there's a pet, one of the patterns that you didn't care for, but this uh, bundle came with lots of options. And there's also different color bundles that you can get. But just another option, especially if you're wearing your hairband wigs or just another option for your regular wigs, if you just wanna add a little color, especially for summer, um, if you're wearing your wigs up in a ponytail and you just want that headband look around the edges of the wig, might be a perfect combination. Well, let me know what hair accessories you like to use and put them in the comments down below so other we can share it with other people. It's always great to uh, share tips and tricks in our community. I wanna thank you for joining me today. Please like and share this video. I hope you, that you're accessorizing <laughs> your wigs as well. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we will see you the next time. Bye.